the 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa. It's been to the gym, it's had some Botox, but is it any good? Down in the dirt. The brand spanking new Suzuki Hayabusa. Some facts and figures for you. This thing has a 1340cc engine producing 188 brake horsepower at around about the 9,500 rev mark. It kicks out 150 newton meters of torque. 800 mil seat height. I know you do like to know the seat height. Effective on the road weight of 264 kilograms. Rough economy of 42 miles per gallon all starting from an RRP of 16.499. The press picks of the new Busa don't do it justice. I saw them and I wasn't blown away, but seeing this thing in the flesh changed my mind. But what is it like to ride? So folks, here we go. The brand spanking new 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa. Massive thank you to Mark and Mike here at Hazelmere Motorcycles for letting me take out their demo. It literally, oh, it literally just arrived this morning and I'm taking it out for a wee spin. Cool, I've got to get used to these uh, pegs being up high. Oh, there we go. So, first, route, first thoughts. Yeah, the pegs feel quite high, but you know, I've been used to, I've been used to the adventure bikes, haven't I? Where is it in the roundabout? Oh, that feels lovely in the roundabout. Bear in mind that's the first corner I've done on this. Oh, wow, quick shift that is gorgeous. Right, where are we with speeds and stuff? Okay, nationals. <laughs> oh yeah, now this thing is obviously, plainly folks, listen. I've had a few people comment in, in a few vids, bike review vids of late going you don't seem to ride them very fast anymore, blah 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 I mean if you watch the channel you'll know the history here I've already lost one job because of <laughs> because of being a little bit energetic with the throttle Believe you me, I do test these bikes off camera but I'm not going to put myself on offer anymore by putting that on film so on film it's going to be fairly legal ish but just take it from me that i will enjoy this bike and i'll let you know what it's like okay this feels lovely this feels nice just physically the proportions it it's that little bit bigger you know this is 264 kilograms i think wet road ready it's got 800 mil seat height this thing has got 188 brake horsepower 100 and, is it 150? Oh, our blipper's nice as well. 150 Newton meters of torque. And that's sort of delivered round about the 9,000 revs. So your typical inline four type engine. It's a high revving engine. That said, the power delivery, oh, oh wow. Oh my good God. My plan, we're gonna do a little bit of um, motorway, sort of dual carriageway action. And then I'll take it onto some fast day roads. Those brakes feel nice. The controls all actually feel really nice. Now because of this big tank, you can grip it with your with your knees, with your thighs, inner thighs there, and that takes all the weight off your wrists. Well it would if this Ford would get out of the way. motorway speeds what's it like well bear in mind this has got the stock screen on it it's not even a double bubble that's not bad you know I've got a peak lid on here it doesn't feel too bad at all I can hear quite a lot of wind noise around my helmet so I hope you can hear me okay on the mics but all in that feels that feels a nice seating position those brakes feel nice Oh yeah, that feels lovely. Lovely in the, the roundabouts there. Even under braking. Yeah, you, you don't really 
need any more power than that, folks. <laughs> but for normal sort of motorway type speeds, this is lovely, and it's actually it's actually a lot of fun because this thing is is sort of just at the power delivery stage. What am I in? I'm in fourth gear here. So if I whack that. Let's just see what the power delivery is like at higher revs. Oh my good god. Oh my good god. Ride this like a, a typical inline four sports bike. If you're used to your sort of big adventure bikes or V-twin engines, that sort of stuff, you'd probably be sit sitting in fourth or fifth, maybe even sixth at these sort of motorway speeds. For inline fours, for revy inline fours, you're down in second, third, you need to get the revs up to sort of eight, nine thousand revs. That is where the power delivery lies. And it's beautiful. There's a wall of power, but it's it's civilized, you know? It's delivered in a, a what feels like a controlled civilized manner. It's not binary, bang, there you go, there's the full whack. Wow. I'll um, I'll have some fun with the cameras off. <laughs> This thing, I'm liking this. I am genuinely liking this, people. I actually prefer this to the Jixa. Now, I don't know if that's just because I'm a big fat knacker, six foot three, 20 stone. I don't know if it's just because this bike actually fits me better. I like the sort of physical nature of this bike. Just feels that bit more substantial. It sounds lovely, even with the stock can on sounds really good there's a boost out in front oh and those glorious signs I've just seen them what do we all say we say nationals Shifter and blipper is beautiful, really nice and smooth. Okay, let's bring the car. Oh, I feel like I'm walking now, but yeah, in these sort of these faster A roads in your big sweeping bends, this feels so planted, especially at speed. It feels beautiful, really confidence inspiring. So that was the blipper there, six down to third. Beautiful, feels good. Just easing off the gas. So this is third gear, 30 miles an hour. Well, it feels not bad at all. So we can trundle through the village here. At 30, in third, feels fine. Nobody's waving today. How about in fourth? Yeah, fourth feels fine. Back that up into 40. You can maintain a constant speed, no bother at all even at lower speeds, the fuel and with the throttle feels really good. Now this is a, like an, I can't remember what they call it, I can't, I'll put it up on the screen, if, I can't remember what you call it. It's not cable throttle, electronic throttle. Nationals! It's our fourth gear pickup. Oh my god. Now this bike, you cannot possibly review this bike on the road for what it should be doing. This bike's like coming alive 80, 90 upwards. I'm not gonna show you that on camera. But believe me, this thing is mega. It just feels like it's got limitless power. It just wants to pull and pull and pull. And it feels like the faster you go, the faster it wants to accelerate. I think this actual bike is gonna be doing the rounds around a lot of the dealerships. So get yourself along to your local Suzuki and get yourself booked in to take this thing out. It is mint. It feels lovely in the bends. It really does feel good. No vagueness in it at all. Very planted. Now this is a Euro 5 compliant bike. I mean, how the heck did Suzuki do that? Nearly 190 brake this thing's got. 188 brake horsepower. And 150, I think it was, Newton meters of torque. And it is still Euro 5 compliant. That is some work. I've ridden a Busa back in about 2010, I think it was. 
Yeah, it would have been. About 210, because I'd just ridden the new S1000RR when that came out. Now, I did think that that Busa, at sort of road speeds, it felt a little bit pedestrian, a little bit sluggish. You know, you had to get the power on to actually enjoy the ride. This doesn't feel like that. This feels fun, even, you know, even now it just feels like, right, I'm ready. Yeah, straight away, see? Not a single one, not a single one nodded. What is up with people? Snobby buggers down here, I tell you. I know the nod's definitely not dead, because up north, you lot, you lot are nodders. Respect the nod, people, respect it, come on. Oh, blimey, a quarter of a tank. Not in the red yet, not far from it though. Speaking of which, on the display there, you've got a, a bit of a digital display in the middle there, showing you what mode you're in. Now this has got your standard A, B and C mode, A being the fastest, down to C, which is like your rain mode, but then it's also got, I think, three or four user-defined modes, so you can, you can obviously totally tailor them bespoke to how you want them. It has PW, I can't remember what PW stands for, but there's three levels of it, and I've got it set in the least of them. It might be anti-wheelie, I'm not sure. It's got traction control. It has a 10 stage traction control plus off. There's a whole load of other gadgets and gizmos that gadgets and gizmos, gadgets and gizmos there as well for you to uh, play with. You've got an analog speedo on the right, an analog rev counter on the left, fuel gauge to the left, temperature gauge to the far right, and then down on the actual bars themselves on the clip-ons, you've got your cruise control, your mode selector indicator, flash over on the left, standard really, your ignition horn, cruise control activator. On the right, the left hand side, you set what speed you want to be doing. Mirror wise, they're actually pretty good. When I first got on the bike and I looked, I thought, oh, these aren't going to be that great because I felt like I'd, I could just see me. But now I'm actually out on the road, sat on the bike and moving, I've got pretty good vision behind me actually. Now I do like these brakes. The brakes aren't spongy, but they don't just suddenly come on, you know, they're not grabby. So you can really feel the brakes through the lever and moderate how much you're how much you're braking if that makes sense so yeah toddling along here i'm in second gear bike feels fine so up into third again fueling feels okay toddling along 25 mile an hour engine doesn't feel like it's protesting you still got power there there's no like flat spot at those low revs I misses mean, two two and a half thousand revs it's still got some pull, but your real power is right up sort of 9,000, 9,500. That's where it's going <laughs> to deposit your spine behind you somewhere. Oh, it's so smooth. Love it. The ride itself feels nice too. Not even noticed the suspension, to be honest. We just went over a few bumps there in the road and felt fine. Do I not like this? Folks, the 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa. What a weapon of a bike this is. Nearly 190 brake horsepower. I think it's 188. That sort of delivered around about nine and a half thousand revs. So typical high rev inline four engine, but it is beautiful. There's 150 odd Newton meters of torque being delivered there. It's just a wall of power, but it's a little bit in the same sense that the Super Duke 3, the Gen 3, it delivers it in a sort of, I'm not gonna say sterile, cause it's anything, but there's loads of fun there. But it's not like this uncontrollable, just thump of power. It's, it's really analog through the throttle. I really like the electronic throttle. It allows you to sort of manage that power delivery to the wheel beautifully. I thought this bike would be too much for the road, but it's, it's great fun. I really do enjoy it. Tight twisty stuff, yeah okay, but it comes alive out there on the fast day roads. <laughs> oh man, what a weapon, I love it, I love it. No idea what the thing would be like on track if you're sort of someone with a bit more mass around you, like me, we all know, six foot three, 20 stone. I've got a fair bit of weight there that I can use to, to shift this bike around. If you're a little bit 
sort of smaller in frame uh, I don't know this bike might put you off 264 kilograms I think it is road weight I don't think you notice that it, it doesn't feel that weight when I'm out and about I really am enjoying it looks wise I think she's a bit of a looker to be honest in the pictures I didn't think the Hayabusa was a particularly good looking bike I thought it was a little bit old fashioned and when I saw the press release pictures of this new one I thought mm, it doesn't look like they've done much to it really but in the flesh I really like it it's uh, it definitely looks like it's been down the gym it definitely looks like it's had a little bit of work done and uh, it agrees with me I'm pretty gobsmacked I didn't think I would like this bike but I generally do the only criticism for me personally is the pegs feel a little bit high but it's a sports bike uh, what did I expect it's my own fault for being a fat knacker really apart from that I can't think of a single thing I don't like price wise it's around about 16,600 on the road insurance for your average Joe this is what you'd be looking at through Bmoto it's got a 20 litre fuel tank it's around about 42 miles to the gallon all in well impressed get yourselves down to your local suzuki dealership chuck your leg over one and take it for a spin if you're interested a huge thank you once again to mark and mike over at hazelmere motorcycles if you're in the market for a bike get yourself on down to hazelmere motorcycles i'll leave some links down below and help them out all right folks hope you've enjoyed this one i certainly have keep on doing your thing look after those that you love get on out there and live your life Woo -ha!